what's up you guys it's Tyler and today we are back with sort of an advice video I don't know what you would call it not a story time which is basically my whole channel um but here are some things that you should know before you work at a pet store um cuz work at a pet store or I work at a pet store you know if you're new here I work at a pet store it's fun it's dope um I have a whole series of crazy customer videos if you want to watch that and if you want to like have reasons why you shouldn't work at a pet store they're there they exist you can go watch them um but here are some tips not tips but just things that you should know before you actually work at a pet store so hi i'm assuming that you want to work with the animals if you don't this stuff is not like if you want to be a cashier or a stalker like this is not going to really apply to you at all um first tip if you want to be an animal care person like full-time it's not gonna happen one you're not gonna be full-time at least not in my store like the only people that are full-time are managers you literally can't get full-time if you tried like you you literally can't <laughs> Um, but if you do want to work with the animals, it's also going to be hard for you, like even part-time, because everybody wants to do it. Everybody. Like, unless there's a random opening for pet care, which usually is going to get snatched up by a cashier, because the cashiers, they don't want to be cashiers. They want to be in pet care. So, you're most likely going to be hired, and you're going to be put on cashier, and maybe, like very little time in pet care um I got very lucky because they they actually needed somebody in pet care and nobody wanted to do it that was cashiering so I took it and I'm literally in pet care the entire time like the only time I have to be cashier is if somebody goes to lunch or if they need backup which is you're gonna have to know how to use a register just saying like my um ideal world there would be no cashiering at all but it happens like you're gonna have to do it you're gonna have to deal with it but also next thingy thing i don't know is that two or three i don't know i don't know um i'm not counting because i can't do that but if you care about animals your heart is going to be broken into pieces all the time either by seeing animals mistreated in the workplace or when you sell an animal and you know it's going to die that's going to happen it's gonna happen all the time and um this is gonna be a little rant because I actually had somebody in my comments telling me that I don't have morals because I work at a pet store y'all I have I have animals okay I would give my life for them to be happy okay like I love them to death um so it's really like hard to see all these stuff that's like if you work at a pet store you hate animals girl I do my best I do my best I know how to take care of the animals if I'm selling an animal to somebody I make sure they know how to take care of it but you can't deny an animal sale unless like it's literally going to die in two weeks that's the thing that like my old manager said like if the animal's not going to die in two weeks which is our guarantee we have a 14 day guarantee on animals if the animal's not going to die in 14 days we have to sell it which is horrible because i see so many animals go home and it's like they're gonna die in probably like less than a year and there's nothing you can do because y you just can't do anything like i'm sorry you're gonna get fired if you do something so that's you know the thing um you're gonna see animals die you're gonna see animals get sick you're going to have to deal with sick animals um you're going to have to deal with bugs because usually there's only one person working in pet care so if somebody needs crickets you're gonna have to do it if somebody needs fish you're gonna have to catch them even if they want 50 different fish 
you're gonna have to catch them. So if you aren't incredibly patient, it's gonna be an issue. Um, if you don't wanna handle a lizard, if you can't pick up a lizard, you can't do it. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. If you can't pick up a snake, listen, snakes, they don't sell as often as like hamsters or fish or lizards. So if you don't wanna handle a snake, like, I assume you could get a manager to do it, but, like, if you are scared of any animal, if you're scared of jumpy, fast lizards, if you're scared of snakes, because you're going to have to feed the snakes. If you can't feed a snake, somebody else is going to have to do it, but, you know, you should be open to doing these things. Like, if you can't pick up a dead fish, if you don't know how to take care of a certain type of fish like hey tell me how do you take care of neon tetris how many do you need in what size tank what fish can't you keep them with if you have less than six like if you can't do that you need to learn you're gonna have to learn about specific types of fish you are going to have to learn about specific types types of birds hamsters because girl hamsters are not the same chinese dwarfs and winter whites, they are very different. Um, Syrians are different from literally every freaking hamster. You gotta, you gotta research all these animals. And it's like, okay, they should, when I say they, I mean like the store should provide like some type of education. They don't. You're going to have to go home and pretty much work off the clock and learn about every single animal that you sell or else you're gonna sell these animals and they're gonna die because you didn't tell the person how to take care of it so yeah I mean the thing that I see a lot is people are like oh working at a pet care sorry a pet store is easy please don't park next to me of course you are and I'm over here talking to myself on the phone love that but um they're like oh it's easy like you just sell an animal it's so much more than that you have to go into detail about literally everything for the animal like how big of a tank do they need how many can you keep together should they be together what do they eat what's a good treat can they eat corn probably not <laughs> like you gotta know that stuff especially with um i was I wish people would not stare at me in their cars. Like, it's so weird. Like, please just let me talk to myself in peace. But especially with lizards, because nobody, like, knows that stuff. And I'm sorry, but I have three. So, like, I, I know my crap about lizards. And it's like, oh, you can put a chameleon in a 20-gallon tank. What is wrong with you? No, like, seriously, what is wrong with you? Um... And then, like, selling a ball python that's going to go in a 10-gallon tank. You have to know why that's not okay. One, it's not just because of space. It's because you can't get the temperature gradient right. You can't have a heat lamp in a 10-gallon tank and have the proper hot side, cold side. You can't do it. You have to know that. What do you feed them? How often do you feed them? You have to know all that crap. Anyways, that was, like, a really long explanation for that one thing but you get it like how are you gonna sit in your car and just watch me film myself is this entertainment you should be paying me right now just saying um you're gonna have to deal with dead animals all the time all the time if you can't pick up a dead animal without crying you're gonna have a rough time Oh my god, dude. I'm sorry, my wrist is literally about to dislocate right now. Um, if you cannot clean shit off the floor, literal shit, because people, you know, they, they let their dogs pee everywhere, they let their dogs poop everywhere, you have to clean it up. But there's no janitor. If there's a mess in the bathroom, you have to clean it up. There is no janitor. There's nobody that's going to do it for you. Oh my god. There was this person that took a shit on the bathroom floor. It's like, how do you do that? This is a small pet store. This is not like some giant mall 
type situation. Why are you just gonna shit on the floor? Cause then I have to clean it. I didn't clean it. I don't know who did, but somebody did. Um, it's dope. Just like awesome things. You're gonna have to deal with people screaming at you for no reason. Why do you not have this in stock? When are you gonna get it? Can you call another store? No, you can't. No, you just have to be like, I'll get a manager while they're screaming at you. Like, it's so fun. So, um, yeah, it's really dope working at a pet store. It's just gonna, like, cost you your entire soul, basically. My worst... Please don't look at me. Um, my worst, like, pet peeve... I want to call it a pet peeve, but I don't, like, know the word for it. Like, what I hate most about working here is selling animals to people that don't know shit about them especially with fish this guy just bought two oscars from me like last week and they were going in a 20 gallon tank and i'm like you can't do that and obviously i told him like a thousand reasons why you can't do that and he's like oh i know a buddy that does it i'm like yeah and your buddy's fish are all gonna die and then what then what then like what are you gonna do you're just fine you're gonna buy more um also had this kid this family i'm gonna make like a whole thing about it because it's just needed hello ma'am um so he was talking to these fish talking about the fish to me he was like oh i'm just gonna buy more like i'm just gonna test it out because this fish kept dying i'm like these fish are living animals like you can't just get them you're killing these fish like they are living animals and he's like I don't care they're just fish you want somebody to look at you and like kill you and be like oh you're just a kid like that's not okay you can't just be like oh they're just fish okay they're living creatures is there somebody in that car that I'm filming Maybe let's not film them. Um, suspicious. Um, but that's like my thing. So it's just, blah, I can't speak. That's like my rant on what you need to know before working at a pet store. Those are obviously the bad things. Maybe I'll make a good video. All those, there's not many good things. Um, there's just not. I wish that there was, but there's just not. Um, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do if you gotta go to work to make money so that you can survive. That's what you gotta do. Uh, capitalism! Um, yeah. Not for everybody. It's really not. I'm not gonna lie and be like, yeah, everybody should work. No, 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 it's not. No. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all next Tuesday or next Wednesday, whenever it is. I don't know anymore i just don't know but i'll see you eventually one day next week okay bye